here with Rashida Adeleke who just qualified for the Olympics in two events, mixed 4x4, four four, women's 4x4 four four for Ireland. Rashida, how do you feel about the double qualification? Amazing, like it was definitely one of our goals just to come top two and for us to win both. It just shows how strong we are. Like we've really climbed up to the top of the food chain. We're being a really good team, so I'm really excited to see what we do in the future. It's amazing because you do need four strong legs to win a, a four by four. But how do you feel? Like Ireland is normally mentioned in the breadth of relays. How do you feel about your role in helping to transform Ireland in the relays? I just want to do my best to help the team, you know. We worked so hard and we definitely really deserve to be at the Olympics and to be doing really well. So if I can do anything to help my team, I'm going to do it. And anything including running 200 legs within the space of a couple of hours. Absolutely. How do you, how do you prepare for that? You just have to get your mind right, you know. Sometimes it's going to hurt and you have to be okay with that. You have to think of the bigger goal. The goal is to get my team and us to Paris. And once you put that at the forefront of what you want to achieve, you'll push through any type of pain. Any possibility of two more legs tomorrow or are you going to pick one? You'll see what our coach says. I'm going to try my best. I'll definitely see how I feel tomorrow as well. But, you know, at the end of the day, we have to be smart. It's Olympic year and we'll just see what happens tomorrow. You're having a storming season, a uh, windy 10 8 in the 100 meters. How do you feel about kind of moving down from your kind of quarter mile to 100 meter races? I want to do it all. Honestly, like I came in as a short sprinter. I came in as a short sprinter and then I kind of transferred to the 400 meters last year. And I just want to be able to be competitive in the 1, 2, and 4. I want to be an all around sprinter. Well, it sounds like you're going to have a fantastic season. Do you have any a word of advice or encouragement for young girls in Nigeria who might be looking up to you, who want to be like you, Emily, you? I would just say, put your goals at the forefront of what you want to achieve. Just always know what you want to do with your life and work for it, go for it. Like No dream is too big for you to achieve. Once you put your mind to it, you can do it, I promise. Work hard and you'll do it. Alright, congratulations on the rest of the season. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much.